all the modern technology available to us, it's likely that none of us have ever used a plumb line. But I'm guessing that all of us have used a speedometer. And if driving in Canada, you see a sign that says 100 and try to drive that speed, you're going to get pulled over. Unless, of course, you use the right scale. Because even at 70 miles an hour, you are driving faster than 100 kilometers per hour. Because you see, it matters what you use to determine what is right. And obviously then what is wrong. In this scripture, God is saying to Amos that God's law supersedes the laws that humans make. And the king was going to be judged by a plumb line which is basically just a weight on a string. Gravity cannot be denied. It is the law, just like God's law, which is simple, but very demanding. Because you see, what humans create as law doesn't have to obey God's law. Slavery was legal. The Holocaust was legal not by God's law. God's simple, direct, demanding law is really this. It's the law of love. Is this act loving? Will it please God? So let us trust that straight, demanding measure of God, knowing that love is worth pursuing, and that even though by this measure, we will always come up short. The law is love because God is love, because our God of mercy is a God of grace who wants the best for us and for everyone and will provide the power to do so.